this is Kev with KevWestBeats.com here to do a tutorial today on Kong, a device in Reason. Um, introduced to Reason 5 and of course Reason 6 is out now. And this tutorial and everything I'm telling you does work in both versions in case you haven't upgraded to Reason 6 for whatever reason. Um, anyway, the reason I'm doing this video is because a lot of people just don't understand that they have to use Kong from just what I'm doing and reading around the internet. They don't know how to route Kong's pads to their own audio outputs. They don't know how to use Kong as an effects rack. And they don't know how to use Kong's own internal effects on either external instruments or on just the pads themselves. So I'm going to cover those three things today in my video. Okay. So first things first, routing the audio out from Kong. To do this, as you see, I have a Kong with nothing going on. I'm going to create a physical model bass drum and a physical model snare drum. Now I've already done some of the routing here, so you're going to have to excuse me. Um, but what I do want to show you is I have the two mixed channels on the top of the screen. One this is Kong 1 and one this is Kong 134. Kong 134 has audio out from the back of Kong. 3-4 routed into its into its mix channel. And then of course Kong 1 has Kong's master outputs routed into it. Now each pad is still set however to the master output. So when I press Kong's pads, as you see, levels only coming out into the main Kong channel because I haven't routed the pads to separate. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down into Kong. I'm going to send my snare drum to outputs 3 and 4. Okay. So now the router right there, outputs 3 and 4. Now, when I hit the, the kick drum that's on pad 1, you'll see the pad light up. It's going to output 1 and Kong 1. When I hit pad 2, now you see the audio is coming out from pad 2 in the 3-4 but it's not routing into mix channel 1 because the channels are not separated so again what I did here was I scrolled down I clicked the drum output and I selected 3-4 for the output that I wanted I flipped the column around I took the outputs and I just routed them into the new mix channel to keep them separate now, another thing that's fun to do with Kong, I'm going to take that and it's empty real quick. Another fun thing that's to do, to do with Kong is to use it as an external effects rack for other instruments in the reason rack. In this example, I'm going to use Thor. What I did with Thor, as you see, I already pre-routed everything. I actually routed Thor's audio outputs into Kong's inputs on the back. There's a set on the left over here and there's a set on the right. The set on the left allows you to use both the master and the bus effects versus the ones on the right that only allow you to use the uh, bus effects. So I'm going to just use the master channel just because that's how I want to do things today. Um, both techniques work about the same. What I'm going to do now again for this example is I'm just going to pull up a distortion from Thor or a distortion of Thor. I'm going to run through that distortion. Now, if you watch the LCD level on the Master Effects channel in Kong, you'll see that the audio from Thor is now running into Kong. And it's running into the Master Effects channel. So, I can use now use this overdrive distortion on Thor if I want to. Because it does have a different tone than the other distortions in reason. One last um, tip on effects while we're talking about effects is sometimes you just want to use certain effects on a certain pad in Kong. Since Kong has its own internal effects, as you've seen here, what we've run before, I can take these effects one and effects two channels, and I can also run data filter. So I'm going to run a filter on this bass drum. I can do that without any problems. 
think that's going to run through the Master Effects channel also, but it also ran through its own effects bus. You can turn up the aux a little bit, and that's how you run it through their own independent channels. And the cool thing about this Effects 1 and Effects 2 channel is it only affects that individual pad. If I switch to pad 2, they don't have the same effects on there. The only global effects are in the Master and Bus Effects channel. Global mean it affects the whole device. And then, of course, the Master channel, you can't set individually for each individual pad. The Bus channel, you can by uh, changing the Bus Effects uh, level. So, anyway, that's basic effect driving at home. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to ask. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, check out KevWestBeast.com and if you have any suggestions on a video, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you for